Eu tenho tanto pra lhe falar. Wait. Mas com palavras... Lhe falar? What does lhe mean? Olá, pessoal. Welcome back to Plain Portuguese, where you learn how to speak like a Brazilian and what lhe means. If you're not here, don't forget to subscribe and catch up on the videos you have missed. In today's lesson, you'll learn how to use lhe and yes and some alternatives to them. Grab your notebook and join me. Some lessons ago, you learned that we can use some small words, aka pronouns, to avoid, for example, repeating a person's name or any other nouns. Do you recall this table? And do you also recall that o, a, os, as may become lo, la, los, las, depending on the context? If not, links to those lessons are in the description box below. Anyway, besides these pronouns, Portuguese has other ones to be used when a verb requires or is associated with the preposition a, para. And these are the pronouns we will be learning today. Let's meet them first and then move on to our practice. Well, so, eu, me, me, você, lhe. It's not le. Mm -mm. Let's work a little on the pronunciation. It's lhe. Well, uh, say the word million, million, okay? Now, don't voice the first part of it. Lian, lian, good. Um, now, say the beginning of the second half only, like lhe, 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 lhe. Yes, now you're ready for saying lhe. <laughs> so, você, lhe, ele, lhe, ela, lhe, nós, nós, remember, closed sound, nós, nós, Vocês, yes, eles, yes, elas, yes. Mm -hmm. um, some verbs are not associated with prepositions. For example, to love, amar. Eu amo livros. Yes, there are no prepositions required here. Eu amo livros. Some verbs are associated with prepositions. For example, gostar. Gostar requires the preposition de. Eu gosto de livros. Eu gosto de livros. Well, um, these, these are the pronouns we'll be using when the verbs are associated with the preposition a. Para. Only with the preposition a, Bia. Sim, sim. Yes, yes. Only with the preposition a. Well, now it's time to see some verbs that are commonly associated with the preposition a. Yes. Dar. Well, so you give something to someone. In Portuguese, yeah, to. Dar algo a alguém. So, dar is a verb associated with the preposition a. Dar a. Let's see some other ones. Perguntar. Responder. Oferecer. Agradecer. Vender. Pagar, entregar, enviar, pertencer, apresentar, dizer. Let's imagine that I'm talking to you. Yes? Ah, com licença, que horas são? Obrigada. 
Yeah, so I was talking to you, in fact. <laughs> well, I asked you the time. Eu perguntei a você as horas. Or, eu lhe perguntei as horas. Eu lhe perguntei as horas. So, I replaced a você with lhe. Yes? Often placed, often placed in Brazilian Portuguese before the main verb. Eu lhe perguntei as horas. Você me respondeu que são 10 horas. Você me respondeu que são 10, 10 horas. Eu agradeci a você. Or, eu lhe agradeci. Eu lhe agradeci. Oh, a friend. I'll offer him some coffee. Gostaria de um café? Eu ofereci um café a ele. Or, eu lhe ofereci um café. Eu lhe ofereci um café. Oh, and his girlfriend. Gostaria de um chá? Eu ofereci um chá a ela. Or, eu lhe ofereci um chá. Eu lhe ofereci um chá. Eu não lhe ofereci café. Oh, why not cookies? I'll see if they would like some cookies. Gostariam de uns biscoitos? Eu ofereci uns biscoitos a eles. Or, eu lhes ofereci uns biscoitos. Eu lhes ofereci uns biscoitos. Hmm. Ela disse a ele que quer mais chá. Ela lhe disse que quer mais chá. Ah, eu gostaria de apresentar minha amiga para vocês. Or, eu gostaria de lhes apresentar minha amiga. Eu gostaria de lhes apresentar minha amiga. Ah, ela disse muito prazer a vocês. Ela lhes disse muito prazer. Ela lhes disse muito prazer. Hum. Este livro não me pertence. Este livro não me pertence. Ah, este livro lhe pertence? Hum, hum. Este livro não nos pertence. Acho que este livro pertence a eles. Ah, com licença. Este livro lhes pertence? Este livro lhes pertence? Ah, sim. Yen and yes are becoming less and less common in spoken, informal conversations, being almost exclusive to formal contexts. What are the alternatives then? Well, when it comes to você, you may use the formal register. Eu lhe enviei os arquivos. Uh, you may keep a você, but this is not so common, but you may do that. Eu enviei os arquivos a você. You may replace a você by para você, and this is more common. Eu enviei os arquivos para você. And a fourth option, you may use te. Yes, it's grammatically wrong, but it's used all over Brazil informally. So then, eu te enviei os arquivos. Eu te enviei os arquivos. As for the other pronouns, ele, ela, vocês, eles, elas. Uh, you have three options. You may use the formal register. Eu lhe enviei os arquivos. Eu lhes enviei os arquivos. You may keep. A ele, a ela, a vocês, a eles, a elas. But this is not so common, but you may do that. Or you may replace. A ele, a ela, a vocês, a eles, a elas, bye. Eu enviei os arquivos para ele. Eu enviei os arquivos para ela. Eu enviei os arquivos para vocês. Eu enviei os arquivos para eles. Eu enviei os arquivos para elas. 
I said that lhe and his are less and less common in spoken and formal conversations. However, there are parts in Brazil where people still use them, sometimes misuse them, and some other times overuse them. I'm not here, though, to say that those uses are wrong, right. No, no, my point here is to show you what is grammatically correct, um, in case you take a test, for example, and that, generally speaking, lhe and lhes aren't the most popular guys anymore, but you'll still find them in formal registers and in songs. Yes! <laughs> Thank you for watching another lesson. See you next time. Até a próxima. Tchau!